Hello YouTube, it's Express and this is part 2 of the DxOre vs Frebs and Xfire comparison. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly introduce you to the options of each of these uh, recording softwares. Okay, so now I'm going to start with DxOre. As you can see, this is the 2.0 version. Okay, so when you launch it, this uh, first uh, thing here, target, you can just uh, skip through that and go to this one here. So this here is basically, um, this is the display, uh, FPS display on the screen. And here it says when it's not recording, it will be displayed as green and then it will turn in orange now this uh, here folder this is very important that you create a new folder for the uh, recordings and this here write speed this is also very important if you do not uh, set this properly you'll get uh, some problems with the video like um, like I did in my previous video so basically what you need to do is click on this icon here it says benchmark and click run and it will find the best uh, write speed for you now I'm going to stop it because I already know that 84 is good enough for me okay next one these are just some keyboard shortcuts you can change this if you want and leave if you don't want to now here um, this is the codec that this program use, uses to record in game. So by default it says it's set uh, to the XORI video codec. Now here frame rate you can choose 10, 20, 29, 7, 30, 60. I always use 60. And this is the output file format. You can save it as raw cap and then use this um, tool to convert it to AVI or you can automatically save it as AVI. And let me see, okay, so that's it for here. Now this is audio. Um, if this is not set, you have to check this box here to record sound and here you have to choose between uh, you'll probably get a few of these options here for me it's this uh, speakers real tech high definition audio to record my audio in game and I'm using this default here PCM and I guess it should be um, well just set to default okay now here um, this is for screenshots um, using the JPEG format and I've set the quality to 100% that's all for uuh, screenshots um, advanced settings um, check this uh, box here and make sure that you always uh, limit your video FPS so like I've done here I've limited the FPS to 60 because are record in 60 FPS and that's basically all you need to know about the XOR okay now let's switch to fraps um, fraps here uh, this uh, this is for benchmarks we can skip that okay movies now the video capture hotkey, hotkey. you can set any hotkey that you want as you can see I record in 60 FPS full size and I record in game sound and I also check this lock frame rate while recording like I did with DX story and here screenshots I'm also using the J JPG and like I said in my previous video um, DX story has way more options than Freps and Xfire Okay, so now we've done 
the extortion perhaps now X far okay if we go to options and we go to video now you see that here you can only choose between 25 and 30 FPS which is not the case with the story and fraps also you can choose between full size and half size like you can do with fraps and um, this is the capture folder uh, it's automatically made by XFAR so you don't have to do it like uh, you have to with DX story and here it also says record sound and it automatically finds the best device and there's not my much really here um, like I said XFAR really doesn't have many options to choose um, so um, so like I said um, still fraps looks like the best choice for me because you know file size is okay it doesn't use much CPU GPU and RAM for me because I have a pretty good PC but if you have a lower and gaming PC you should really try DX story because it really is great and you'll be able able to record your videos very smoothly and in 60 FPS okay so this has been the part 2 between um, comparison between uh, DX story versus Fraps versus XFire